Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So let's get into it for Scorpio, for Scorpio spirit and love. What can Scorpio expect in love? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Okay, we have unhealthy attachment. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. Okay, what else for Scorpio? So Scorpio, this could be you or your person's energy here in this whole reading actually. So take it as it resonates, but it looks like someone here is dealing with a difficult situation. Okay, uh, someone's dealing with a drinking problem. And I just got this message that um, whoever's dealing with a drinking problem, anything, every, this would be a completely perfect connection if it wasn't for that. Others of you, I feel like this is just an unhealthy situation, like it's become toxic. Could be a toxic commitment or something like that what else for scorpio what do we need to know for scorpio chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here past life connection at the bottom of the deck interesting once again i just get this message of like this could very well be like addictions or drinking or something like that. Someone's definitely dealing with that problem. If you are, let me know in the comments because I know that the, that message is for someone. I feel like this is someone that got caught up in a situation that at first there was a really strong attraction, something seemed really good, um, and it turned toxic. And again, this could be you or your person, Scorpio. So let's see guidance messages please for Scorpio does Scorpio need to know spirit what does Scorpio need to know what does Scorpio need to know spirit who or what is coming towards Scorpio let's see Seven, oh no nine of cups sorry <laughs> the magician and the hermit Virgo energy Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant, Scorpio energy. Nasco. What am I talking about? Taurus energy. Sorry, guys. I'm like thinking about something completely unrelated to this card right now. Taurus energy. But the higher font. I feel like there's a connection here, a long-term connection. Okay, so let's get to the bottom of this. I mean, right away I'm thinking, look at all these cups. And they're full. Right? I feel like someone's drinking a lot. But this could also be a wish. A wish granted. You know, a wish that someone has. A desire that someone has. Because someone's definitely motivated with the magician to get something done. Um, with the Hermit, I feel like they've thought about this on their own or they've planned for this or are planning for something. So let's see what's going on here. Clarity, please, Spirit for Scorpio. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Five of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Emperor, Aries Energy. Why is the Nine of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. It's interesting that the Nine of Cups came out with the Five of Pentacles right away. So I feel like someone is needing help or needing something, struggling. The Five of Cups, not Five of Cups, five, oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a hard reading for me. <laughs> The Five of Pentacles is a card about needing help, being out in the cold, struggling. Um, there's a coldness. I 
I feel like someone's waiting for things to get better. This emperor. This could be somebody older, masculine energy here. Tell me more about this emperor. What do I need to know about this emperor? Two of wands, he's the one waiting. So this emperor is waiting. Um, what are they waiting for? Tell me about the three of wands. What, what's this three of wands about? What's this three of wands about? Ten of wands, okay. There's a burden and obligation, something weighing this person down. Um, I feel like they're waiting to drop a burden, waiting for something to no longer be a heavy burden for them. And once again, I'm just going to say it. Some of you are dealing with a person who's struggling with some sort of an addiction or something like it could even be their mental health or their physical health. Others of you, I feel like this person has a desire for something else while they're in a difficult situation. Tell me about this magician. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? The star, Aquarius energy. Yeah, I feel like this is connected. The star and the nine of cups. Um, a wish, a desire. Healing as well. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Death, Scorpio energy. Look at this major arcana. Yeah, it's like someone's wishing for a change. For the end of something. Um, like they want something to change in their life and they've been they've been waiting for it. Tell me more about this magician. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that knows they want to go after something here. But I feel like they're waiting at the same time. Maybe because something has to end in their life for this to happen. Um, maybe because there needs to be a change, a transformation. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Five of Swords. Something, someone playing dirty, someone play, being unfair, S deception conflict a conflict would have to end whether this is a battle that someone's fighting with themselves or with someone else this this would need to end tell me about the star justice libra energy yeah i feel like someone's hoping for things to be balanced right made right to fix something here perhaps Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Oh. We have the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Interesting. We did have past life, I think, was it past life connection that showed up in the bottom of this deck? Yep. So I feel like this is some someone that's interested in a past life connection or a past person. Maybe they want to talk to somebody from their past. And again, Scorpio, take this as it resonates, because this could be all of your energy or your person's energy or a mix of both. Tell me about the Hermit. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles. So this person's thinking a lot. This Hermit with the Eight of Swords, there's a lot of thinking here. Fear. Tell me about the Hermit working on something, putting an effort, working with others with the Three of Pentacles, the world. Yeah, this is somebody that's thinking about ending a cycle, ending something, changing something. Something needs to change. Nine of Wands. Maybe someone can't do this anymore or can't be in this situation anymore. It's gotten to be too much with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands showed up. So I feel like this is something that someone cannot continue doing, whatever it is. Tell me about the world. And they know this deep down. They know this, that this needs to happen. Tell me about the world. The Two of Cups. 
yeah, this is about being with their person, being with their partner. Um, you know, it's like something has to end for this partnership to begin. So what's going to happen next? What can Scorpio expect? What can Scorpio expect next, Spirit? What's going to happen next here? What's going to happen next? The sun, okay. What's going to happen next for Scorpio? The moon. <laughs> The sun, the moon. Okay, clarity, because I feel like something is not clear. Pisces energy with the moon. I feel like someone's going to either speak up or bring clarity to something that wasn't clear before. Tell me about the moon and the sun. Tell me about the moon and the sun. Tell me about the sun and the moon here, Spirit. The wheel, holy crap. The wheel of fortune, bottom of the deck, the six of swords, wow. Can I get one more for the sun and the moon? 10 of swords, okay. So there's an ending coming here, nine of wands at the bottom of the deck again. There's an ending coming. I feel like someone's gonna take an opportunity here to end a difficult situation or to have a difficult ending. And perhaps this was happening behind the scenes, but now it's going to be very public or it's going to be like out in the open or something that is almost like revealed in a way. Wow. Ace of Cups after the Nine of Wands. This is this is all being done for love, for emotional fulfillment. I heard for peace, inner peace or just peace. Someone really is focused on this. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonated. Um, if it did, leave me a comment, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading and you wanna see more readings from me, then please consider subscribing, liking the video. Um, if you wanna know more about me and what I do, all of the information is in the description box. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.